Hey everybody, so it's now been over a year since I released the free ACM CAT 6 hour physics course, and we've had nearly a thousand people sign up. Since I've made that course, I've now also made courses to review all the other MCAT science content. So general chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, and biology courses. And as I've made these courses, I've gotten a lot better at the process. I've improved the sound quality a lot. So compare this first lecture in the physics course. And so what this equation tells us is this equation gives us a change in, uh, a change in velocity to the most recent lecture in the biology course. Right, and these, these things, these protrusions, are called villi. I've also improved the visual quality a lot, and I've gotten a lot better at structuring the lectures and really organizing the slides so that it's more smooth and you're able to refer back to the slides after the lecture. I've also gotten a lot of feedback from students, and the number one request I always get is to have more practice questions. So the newer courses include lots more practice questions for each module for students to really work on those subjects. Those practice questions are not solved by me, but I do include the answers, and you can go through them yourself, and they're going to be in the similar format to the practice questions that I do solve. But at this point, the physics course is really not at the quality that I'd like it to be, and it's really not at the standard of those other courses. So I'm working on re-recording its lectures and revamping really every aspect of that course, so it'll be up to that higher standard. So actually, if you look at the course, you'll already see that I've re-recorded the lectures for the energy and motion module. So those recordings are now higher quality. They include downloadable lecture slides and lots more practice questions for that module. So over the next several months, I'll be revamping the other modules of the physics course. And later on, I'll do the same thing for the GenChem course because those lectures can also be redone. For the physics course, I'll also gradually be posting the new lectures here on YouTube, just like I did before with the old lectures. So the course is gonna remain available and free on the website throughout that process. And the old lectures will still be on YouTube if you'd like to reference them. In the meantime, I'll try and branch out and make additional video content for the channel here. I was really busy finishing up the bio course, but now that that's done, I'll be dedicating a lot more time and effort to YouTube. So if there are any specific questions you'd like answered or videos you'd like to see, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. And as always, you can check out the website, acmcat.com, and you can email me for any personal questions or requests. Thank you for watching.